Good. I, I, my, my, my question remains though, did, did Legislative Council offer a risk assessment? Legislative Council said sure, people could sue. But they didn't say they thought it was likely, nor did they say that they thought it was likely that people would win. It's on the record, you can see it. Yeah, it's public. It's a public document. If you look at the bill, um, which is SJR 12 from the 2021 session, you can see under all the um, meeting materials for things that that legislative council opinion is in there, mm -hmm. and they say yes, people could sue. So, what's the bill number again, sir? SJR 12 okay. in the 2021 session. It almost feels as if people could sue and you sort of like them to sue in the sense that if you went to the if you went to court and the and the Supreme and it goes all the way up to the Oregon Supreme Court and the Oregon Supreme Court says, Yep, the Constitution says you must, then you're a lot further down the road towards single payer health care. You are putting words in my mouth and that's not cool. Okay, I want to be really clear. This is not about single payer. And let me be very clear, if this, if this were a single-payer bill, I would not be sitting here. Um, Why? Um, because we believe that there are a multitude of ways to achieve universal access to care besides doing single-payer. Uh -huh. And Oregon has, has proven that. Mm -hmm. We have got a variety of programs that we have implemented with taxes that um, my company and others have been willing to pay to reduce the cost of health care on the individual market, to expand access to health insurance for uh, a wide range of Oregonians. We have made significant investments along with partners like Project Access Now in trying to make sure that folks are signed up for programs that they qualify for. Just, just to be clear, yeah. single payer would probably result in less total revenue to the problem system. It depends on how you structure a system, yeah. um, but we believe that there are, if you respect Oregonians' right to choice and desire to make decisions about where and how they get their health care yeah. um, and what they do and don't cover, that you can build a system that ensures universal access faster by I identifying additional subsidies that are necessary, helping folks get signed up for care, trying to smooth the transition um, so you reduce the churn population, those um, on and off of Medicaid, a variety of other things that you can do to get to a place where Oregonians have universal access to care that's different than let's pull the system all the way off and institute a system where government pays for it all. 